Honestly, don't act surprised by this. We all knew it was gonna happen. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello. Happy sunny day. I am going to bleach all my hair platinum blonde today. Um, okay, let me backtrack. Three months ago, I made the very regrettable decision of dyeing my hair brown and it was not intentional. I did not go in to get my hair brown. There was some miscommunication on my part, like 100% my part because I hadn't talked to another human being in person for like six months and I was really nervous. So when I went to the hairdresser, I honestly just froze up and did not explain very well. So my hair was brown, which technically is my natural hair color. I just didn't know it. And previously, of course, I have to give like a backstory to the backstory. I used to have platinum blonde hair, loved it, great time. But I was sick of going to the salon every four weeks and like having to sit in a chair for like two to three hours being forced to talk to another human being which I loved my hairdresser. Like, it's not her. Again, it's totally me. It's the anxious introvert in me where I feel like I have to fill in the silence because I'm scared that then the hairdresser will like hate me or think I'm weird. Yeah, it was just always an anxiety filled event every month. And also it was like over $200. So I started to go back kind of natural where I was getting this like root shadow thing. And last January was the last time I put bleach on all my hair. Well, I didn't do it, the hairdresser did. But then moving forward to November time, I just was not feeling the outgrown root and I probably should have just gotten highlights, but I was like, you know what? I wanna be natural. I don't even want to think about my hair. And I also just don't want to have to go back to the hairdresser so much. So my intention was good, but I think there was also this like underlining like depression of feeling like I, I had to change something. I've realized recently that I don't like change that much. My entire life, I thought I was the type of person that loved change. I loved moving, redecorating, dyeing my hair. I mean, I've literally dyed my hair every single color of the rainbow. Every time I wanted like, major change, it was because I was trying to mask just the internal sadness in myself. Instead of just dealing with those feelings, I decided to do something outrageous that I ended up regretting. And having blonde hair is that one thing that honestly just makes me feel like home. It's literally just hair, I understand. I understand it's just hair, but I have always been blonde and I never wanted brown hair. When the hairdresser put that hair dye on my hair, I was like, oh no, this this was a mistake. But thanks to my toxic positivity trait that I thought I got over when I watched the movie Inside Out because that was the first time that I was like, oh my gosh, like you shouldn't always just be happy. But I had not gotten over that. So when I got my hair done, I just convinced myself that I loved it even though I just, I, I honestly hated it, which is why I ended up bleaching the front parts. And that was a gateway into me finally accepting the fact that I need to stop pretending. And in a non-pandemic world, I would go back to the hairdresser and have them do it. I thought maybe I could wait until summertime, but I cannot. I have to bleach all of my hair. That is the backstory of why we are here today. And whether you're happy about it or not, I don't care because I am happy about it. But let's go into the bathroom and take me back to my true form, which is, it's blonde. It's, it's blonde. All right, got my kitty, oh, kitty cat top. I got my little goodies here. I got the same toner that I got last time, which is the T10. And that was the most beautiful toner ever. I'm just hoping it turns out. Also very excited. I got the brush and the bowl. I desperately needed this last time and I'm just feeling so prepared. I'm going to be working in sections obviously. I'm going to do the mid to ends first and then like 10, 15 minutes later, I'm going to do the roots. I've been binging Brad Mondo videos to hopefully equip myself with the knowledge to make this go well. So also don't want to re-bleach the front parts. I will do a little bit of my roots cause it's been about like three weeks, I would say. I was gonna wait four weeks so I could do it all together. And I was just like, 
eh, I can't wait. I have, I have to, I have to. <laughs> Which also another reason why I'm excited to do this is I am so sick having to put purple shampoo just on the front parts. I know it sounds so silly, but it's actually really hard. So like, I feel like there's some brown parts in there still. I did my best. Honestly, this is why I want to bleach all my hair because I'm sick of having to just like section this part. It's so frustrating. Now, if you guys remember in my last hair dyeing video, which I'm not becoming like a hair dyeing channel. I just, I just want to say that. Been there, done that. It just so happens that I needed to do this now. Very closely to when I did the other bleaching hair video. But anyway, this one has a bigger transformation, okay? Although in that video, I was like, I would rather have long hair than blonde hair. And although, yes, I would like blonde hair as I'm saying this with a bunch of bleach, I also want to be blonde. And you know, having COVID made me realize life is short. How do people section, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, here are my sections. They're not very good. They're as good as it's going to get. Of course, I'm not gonna just like put bleach on here. I'm gonna like section that as well, but this is like the main quadrants. It's now turning back now. Well, I mean there is, cause I haven't put it on yet, but again, I'm not saying this is going to be salon quality blonde, obviously. Ooh. Also, I forgot to mention in the original video where I bleached my hair, over a year ago, I think like October 2019, when I started getting like a shadow root, my hairdresser was like, okay, like once we do this, like you can't go back platinum. Your hair won't be able to handle it. And I was like, duh, of course not. And here I am. <sighs> we can do this. We can do this. Okay. Also, I've been watching Anya a lot on YouTube and she bleaches her hair herself a lot. She like just recently put out one where she like bleached her roots and I was like, I, I want my hair to, to be your hair color. Not like, I don't want my hair to be like silver, purple, gray. Honestly, I don't think that looked very like good on me to be honest. I don't know why I thought I did, but I just want to be blonde. So blonde is what I will be. Also, after Sunday's video, I feel like I need to get back to like me. And this is a really like great way to show like I'm gonna do things that I want to do. Let's put a little foil in, a little foil in. Wrap it like a present. Ooh, not too shabby if I do say so myself. I feel like a lot of people get very defensive when you like specifically bleach your hair because you know, I think it's coming from a good place because they probably have been there where they decided I'm gonna bleach my own hair and then something really bad happened. Again, been there, done that. Like sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta go for it. I'm really happy I put something like on my neck, my gosh. Also, here's what it looks like in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but maybe I should have made more bleach actually. I think I should have, cause I feel like I'm gonna go through this, darn it. I think I'm just really nervous that it's taking just a little bit too long. Woo! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more bleach. Maybe I put too much. I don't know. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't know how hairdressers like do this and like talk at the same time. At one point I wanted to become a hairdresser and then I realized I don't want any responsibility. And I was just thinking about like, what if I like, I don't know, cut their hair wrong or did something wrong. Like that's their hair. Some people I'm sure maybe are understanding, but I feel like most people are not. I mean, if somebody messed up my hair, I would also be really sad. And also I can't draw a straight line. So I feel like that's kind of the biggest thing. Like I can't draw a straight line which means I cannot cut in a straight line. So I feel like that would be my biggest downfall. Okay, we gotta make some more bleach. Eh. Okay, I feel like it's a good consistency. Sorry, I have my sock because I dropped bleach on the ground. So I had to take my sock off to clean it. I think my biggest fear 
is like missing a really like not even big part but like a very like you can see that i missed bleach there like that's what i'm scared of <laughs> Yay, we're at the front, finally. I'm really happy I got the double bleach. I wasn't going to, and then I was like, yeah, but my hair's gonna be blonde now, so I'll probably need bleach. Glad I did, because I would have been freaking out right now. Also, I'm really excited, because there's like an orange part. Last time I did this, I like, I think got toner on it or something, and it like turned like my root a little bit orange, so I'm so excited about finally getting rid of that. Sorry, I think I... Missed a spot. Okay, we're actually doing this. Wow. All right, so I got to John, which if you guys don't know, some people don't know, I'm married to him. We literally made a video of us getting married. It's linked up above. I am gonna have him do the roots on the bottom because I feel like it's been a good enough time to get those. When I was showing him like videos on how to do it, he was like, oh, I remember those days. Like I know how to do this. It was this. called the early <laughs> 2000s and that was all the hot rave. It was either bleaching all your hair, doing like the cheetah look. Yeah, or the frosted tips. Uh, I never did frosted oh, okay. tips. It was more of like you would put the cap on and then you oh, weave yeah. the hair oh, out. Oh, yeah. I haven't even done Cheetah that hair. So apparently he's a professional. There's a specific like heavy amount that you Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we gotta work fast because I think time is, uh, it is ticking. So I probably won't really talk that much. Um, I think like looking back, I definitely should have just done the bottom first and then did the top, like did it, wash it out and then went from there. But it's, I mean, it's looking good. It's looking, uh, it's looking blonde. So that's good. If I wasn't kind of on like a time uh, speed, I probably would not put it so close to my scalp, but you know. We're doing the best that we can. Also, I think I've done like three different like things of bleach. So, wow, I like would not have expected that. Okay, I'm gonna start kind of my timer-ish now. All right, my camera died, but I finished up the roots. I did just a little bit of the front root. The bottom is definitely processing faster than the top because obviously I did that first. It's taking a little bit longer, so I may end up rinsing it out before the top part. I hope it's even on the roots. I trust John that it's all good. I completely ran out of bleach, so even if I want to put more bleach, I would have to remake it, but I'm feeling... I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm not regretting my decision yet but i'm also scared again that my hair is gonna fall out as long as the front looks okay honestly i won't be mad so we're gonna wait i think like maybe 10 more minutes and take out the bottom possibly huh some parts are kind of orange and others aren't i think it's just from honestly the hair dye that was on it before that's okay like i knew it was gonna be uneven you know okay let's try and wash this out <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not perfect and uh, like it's definitely yellow and a little bit like orange and pink in some places, but I think that's just because that was like virgin hair and then it had brown dye over it, whereas the other parts were like platinum with brown dye over it. So I, I think that made a difference. We'll wait a good like 15 more minutes to rinse out the other parts. Ugh. Yeah, it's kind 
of a mess, but honestly, I was kind of planning for this. Also, kind of what I thought was gonna happen, which kind of happened to these front bits when I had done them, it's like more yellow here, then it kind of goes white again, which, you know, if you're a professional, you would know how to kind of work with that. I'm not a professional, so I didn't really know how. Nor did I honestly just have the patience to deal with it, so that's fine. This is like the hair that I had already done three weeks ago, and it kind of looked like this, and then it became that. So that's what we are hoping for. Well, it's just crazy, because like when you get your hair done at the salon, you don't see it like this. Like you're in the shampoo bowl and they like put the toner on. And so you never actually see it looking this way. So a lot of times it's like, oh my gosh, like I did something wrong. This isn't how it is usually at the hair salon. But I mean, is it? It's probably not this bad, but it's probably like, you know, not this bad. I hope it works. Cause I feel like the ends are really orange. Just doing the science, I guess. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes and then we'll see what happens. Alrighty, are you guys ready? Sorry, I don't, I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, here's the final result. Here it is. I just wanted to pop this in here. Sorry, this is a terrible freeze frame. Um, because I realized after I filmed this like outro part, what it was about the shade of my hair that was kind of off. It's because it's still not that like platinum bleach blonde that I don't know if I necessarily was going into doing, but also like I know the first time bleaching my brown hair, it wasn't going to do it. So I think I may, in a month when I do my roots, I may re-bleach it because it's not yet the right like tone or level of blonde that I was going for. So it's kind of really that wheat blonde, which is pretty, but in some lights it looks a little bit like toned down. I don't really know how to explain it. You'll probably understand what I mean and depending on like the filter that I have or the just lighting in general, it kind of looks a little bit different. But honestly, like I'm really happy with it. It's definitely not perfect and I don't regret doing it, but I also acknowledge that it is not perfect and I can handle, you know, a month with this. It's blonde. That's that's literally all I wanted. So maybe in a month I'll kind of re-bleach it and kind of go from there. I did make a mistake. I mean, I made many mistakes within it, but my main mistake was when I was in the shower washing out the toner, in my head I was like, oh my gosh, like it's still really orange and yellow. Let me put some purple shampoo on it. And my ends were a lot more like orange yellow than my roots. And so I thought, oh, I'll just focus the purple shampoo on my ends. No, no, because my ends were a lot more porous than my roots. So they ended up turning like pretty, I, I would say almost like a gray silver, not all of the ends, but like a good chunk and then my roots are a little bit more kind of that wheat blonde so there's a lot of different colors going on in my hair with the blonde it's a nice you know blonde vanilla ice cream swirl i'm still getting quite used to it i thought instantly when i like dread it and everything i'd be like yes like this is it but i am kind of like oh wow i haven't been like this blonde in a very long time let me just move you over into a little bit more of the sunlight so you can see So it definitely has some yellow in it. It really gives like a wheat blonde vibe. Low key proud of myself for just like going for what I wanted. Also a big clap to John for doing a really great job. Oh, and another thing. So this isn't the reason why I bleached my hair, but since having Salem, I was like, oh my gosh, like we could be Sabrina and Salem for Halloween. And I know, you know, it's very typical, but I have a black hat now and now I'm blonde and it just makes sense. So, but yeah, I am feeling good about it. Definitely will have to take some extra care of my hair because it definitely is damaged, which totally makes sense, but no hair honestly fell out, which 
amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video just to continue to see my face. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at alexsunshine83 to keep up to date with me during the week. It has been really hard not to like post anything about it on Instagram, but I really wanted to wait until I put this video up to then like post something on there. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and all of the lots. Bye!